Well, a West Village gay bar with activism that started even before Stonewall is now officially a landmark. It's a result of a 10-year campaign. CBS 2's Dave Carlin delves into the rich history of Julius Bar. This dedication ceremony in April unveiled a plaque spelling out the story of Julius Barr at 159 West 10th Street. Now, this building dating back to 1825 is a freshly designated city landmark, immortalizing the events of a fateful night in 1966. Three years before Stonewall, uh, a couple of brave individuals got together and said, we're going to challenge the rules that basically make gay bars illegal. We're going to sit at a bar, we're going to say we are gay and we demand to be served a drink and they came here and they were refused service and it ended up resulting in a lawsuit which changed the rules and regulations and helped set in motion the Stonewall riots and all of the changes of the last 50 or more years. And over here in Julius Bars is photograph of the 1966 sip in right there is Randy Wicker who was 28 years old at the time. I was an investigator and when I saw something wrong, I would speak up against it. Wicker is now 84. The writer and former lighting store owner remembers how sitting at that counter, confronting discrimination head on, made him a bolder activist who branched out over the decades. The gay movement was my home movement, but I went to there to fight the women's rights. The war in Vietnam, I think, was the most horrible event of my life. It went on forever. I was in the first march against that. I'm just so happy. Helen Buford has owned Julius Bar for the past 23 years. It became my mission that as long as I'm here, this will always be Julius and it will always be a gay bar. I am drawing strength from this site because we need to have the same kind of courage that they had. It is just important for us to visit locations like this to remember this was not long ago and we have an obligation and responsibility to say we're not going backwards, we're going forward. From civil disobedience in that very different time to a place warm and welcoming to all with a designation and plaque to be proud of. In Greenwich Village, Dave Carlin, CBS2 News.